Now if you wanted to replace this OEM switch, here's my uh, OEM fog light switch. Of course it came with the uh, switches already there, or the fog lights. And they're fine, but the switch isn't illuminated. And I want something a little, a little more interesting, especially to have some light to it. This uh, little cap for the switch will just kind of pop right off. If you have a little tool like this for interior panels, you can just kind of pop that switch off. And this, uh, it'll just, just easily come off here. And that's the, um, you know, the, the switch um, outer part that just attaches right here. And once you have that off, you can kind of get in there to see it should be a little bit easier to, um, to get a tool in right there and just kind of pop it out um, like you could any other switch, this blank one next to it. So um, they're just kind of held in place with some, you know, little tension clips at the top. So it shouldn't be too bad. Just kind of get in there and gently pry it out. There's actually a little notch on the top right here and on the bottom. I ended up getting, uh, using a tiny little screwdriver just to kind of um, slip it in there and kind of pull it out. And then just uh, to kind of go grab here and just sort of pull it out there. And that's uh, what we have. So there's the original OEM wiring harness. And my plan is to use uh, this switch right here, which is illuminated and um, has um, its own little indicator light. Since my OEM switch didn't have any light and uh, didn't come on at all, uh, not with the headlights on or even when you push the, the uh, fog light button in. So the one little annoying thing is that this connector here for this little aftermarket light, which um, looks like it's OEM, that's the whole reason I got it there, uh, it's got a different connector that plugs into the back of the switch as the OEM switch. So what I'll have to do is cut these wires here and then splice them into these wires. Now this is the second generation Tacoma uh, fog light switch. And as I took off the little cap, I'm noticing something right in there. And you know that's got to be a little indicator light. And since uh, other lights uh, here are orange, that looks like a little orange one there, um, I'm guessing especially because there are four wires here. So I've got uh, four wires coming in. And I do know that one of these wires, even on the OEM one, is um, for, uh, for a dash light indicator that when you, your dash lights your, or your running lights are on that it, it um, lights up one of these. What that means is that that's got to be a little light in there. If for some reason mine had burned out or isn't working. So uh, another reason to replace the, um, the OEM version. But uh, I hadn't known that before, but there you are. Little light in there, and that's what we must be seeing there. So I'm guessing you could uh, get a replacement from Toyota for a huge amount. I think I've heard $70, or spend $10 or less and find one that um, should be even cooler uh, from eBay. The only difference here is that um, the wires have to be spliced in. Now I've seen that, of course, um, hopefully with OEM wires, you've got a, a consistent color coding here. As I looked at several different ones that are um, aftermarket, the um, wire uh, colors are different depending upon where it comes from. Even if everything else in the switch looks the same, and it has the same uh, plug right here, the actual color of the wires is, um, is going to be different. But that doesn't really matter. The color, the position, is going to be just the same. So what I've been able to figure out here is that, of course, the black is ground, and then the red is going to go to whatever um, lights up uh, when the dash lights are on. And then the blue goes directly to the, the uh, light or the accessory. And then the yellow is going to be a power. So even if yours has a different color coding for the wires, the position is going to be the same. And then you have a little blank one that's right there in the middle. And you'll see five pins if you pull this out. So I guess there's no fifth function there, um, just the four. And if I had a, um, a fifth wire coming out, uh, you'd have to tap that off or, or, or cut it off or something. It doesn't have any function. So regardless of the color of the wires, this is their function. Ground, dash illumination, the lights themselves, and the power. Okay, so I've stripped the wires in preparation for... Um, 
for uh, splicing them into the, the new plug. And I've got this little uh, tester here, which is really handy. You just ground it on one end, and it has this nice little sharp probe on the other. And all it does is let you know is if uh, a wire is hot. And so if I come here and I touch it with the exposed bits of the wires, you can see that there's, there's nothing going on. All right, it's all, actually you should probably look at this down there. So I'm touching each of the wires and uh, nothing. So if I take and I turn my lights on, just to, to the um, first click here that you get dash lights on, and I touch the green one, look what happens. The green one is hot when the dash lights are on, and none of the other ones are hot when the dash lights are on. So that means that this green wire right here, not the green and white wire, but the green wire is the one to splice into the wire on the uh, OEM switch that controls the, that lights up. Well here it is all wired up. So I've got my uh, butt connectors here, um, crimped in, haven't heat shrinked them or anything. You can see that the red goes to the green and um, the uh, yellow from the switch I took to the blue there and of course black goes to black and white ground and that just sort of left this one um, right there and um, you can see that if I turn on my lights there I get this um, light switch illuminating right there And then turning on the switch, pressing it in, will turn on the fog lights. So it looks like everything is working. All I need to do now is just um, uh, heat these up to shrink them, and then just kind of tuck it back in. And that really should be uh, should be uh, all I need there. This little indicator light right up here isn't always coming on, and I'm not really sure why. Now, back to this, I may have uh, wired this up wrong previously. So if you look at this graphic here, which I was able to find, it shows the colors of the wires uh, on the OEM switch. The blue goes to relay, and so with the um, label that I have on this switch here, it says blue to the light application. That's generally the same thing, so I've changed it, so I've got blue going to blue now. And then, of course, the black is going to black-white ground. And uh, based on the, um, on the descriptions here, I've got these things uh, spliced into where they need to go. Uh, positive, positive, negative, negative, as far as with, with the switch illumination. So that's really the, the only way this can work. That's the best guess that I have here. Hopefully you can kind of see where that's going. And blue is going to blue, black is going to black and white. In this case, the red is going to the green, and this yellow is going to this green with the white stripe in there. So when I turn on my lights, the odd thing is I get both the lights shining here. And then when I turn it on, the fog lights come on, and then this top indicator light goes out. So this indicator light is doing just the opposite of what it's supposed to turn it off, and then they should go back to being on there. Kind of hard to see with the, the light here. So it's it, it's functional. There's a little more function going on than what I had at first. I'm not sure if there's a problem with the switch or not, because I can't see any other way that these uh, should be wired up. But uh, let me know in the comments if there's uh, any other suggestion here. This uh, image uh, from the, uh, the OEM uh, wiring really did help, and uh, anyway, it'll work for now.